where did the last common ancestor of Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, uh, who also likely spoke language like us, okay, and Denisovans originate and live? Can it be the Indian subcontinent? Oldest fossils of Neanderthals were found in Europe, oldest fossils of Homo sapiens in Africa, oldest fossils of Denisovans in Tibet, East Asia, Southeast Asia. Okay. So the Neanderthals are believed, see, see they are, they used to be our cousins, the Neanderthals. Uh, they were a human subspecies, which means that you could inter, humans could interbreed with them and produce viable offspring. And indeed, it is believed, it is not believed, it is known that non-African humans carry on average about 4% Neanderthal DNA. And the lowest incidence of Neanderthal DNA is in India. Apparently, our ancestors did not ever intermix with, ne with Neanderthals. But the ancestors of the Europeans and West Asians, etc., they, they probably did. Okay, whatever. Uh, so the Neanderthals most likely uh, emerged out of Africa and uh, populated Europe and West Asia. Probably not India. As far as I know, there's no evidence of Neanderthals in India for whatever reason, uh, in the Indian subcontinent. So... Uh, the Neanderthals, most likely their migration out of Africa happened around 700 or 800,000 years before today. And they are our, they were our close relatives, but they no longer exist as a separate subspecies. Now they are, their DNA is, is in Homo sapiens itself. So their descendants are among us, but they share very little traits of the original Neanderthals. Uh, language, they probably spoke a language. Yeah, maybe multiple languages. Denisovans, we don't know much about them. I mean, I remember uh, it was, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago when the news came out that there's a new human subspecies that has, that has been discovered. A fragment of a, of a, of a finger bone somewhere in Tibet. Or, or, or no, the Denisova cave somewhere in Asiatic Russia. And then uh, more fossils were discovered in Tibet and wherever else. So the first place was the Denisova cave in, in Russia. That's why they are called the Denisovans. It doesn't mean that they call themselves the Denisovans. Uh, very little is known about them. Their, their genetic traces are found in various uh, human populations. Uh, but uh, when what was their origin? I'm not really sure about that. I'm not sure anyone knows what their origin was. Uh, what we know is that humanity seems to have ori originated and emerged out of Africa. Uh, most likely the Neanderthals immigrated out of Africa about 700 or 8,000 years ago. 800,000 years ago. Humans, us, Homo sapiens, we most likely emerged out of Africa about between 80 and 70,000 years before today, around that time. Maybe, maybe 85, perhaps. We're not sure. Uh, because we do find evidence of Homo sapiens in India, um, which seems to have, and, and we, there's a settlement somewhere that was discovered in India, about 80,000 years old or something, Homo sapiens. And that settlement had survived the catastrophic Toba super volcano explosion that happened about 80,000 years ago. So clearly the migration happened most likely before 80,000 years. So if Homo sapiens came out of Africa 80,000 years ago, let's say, or 85, but the Neanderthals came out of Africa 700,000 years ago, and Denisovans, we don't know what, when, then it means that the last common ancestor of the three subspecies would have lived in Africa. Uh, to the best of the knowledge that we have as of today, our deep ancestry comes from Africa. That's the best of the knowledge. With new, If new evidence is found, which points in some other direction, obviously we have to change our mind. But today the data says it's Africa. So yeah, that's what I can say.